going to create a beautiful backsplash or a tiled tabletop. Well, Jeff Monsignor from Splat Paint says just faux some tile. You're going to show us how to do this. Absolutely. Right. Be back. And this is what it looks like um, if you did a really elaborate sure. tile painting. Sure. And these are, this is just paint. There's no, there's no dimension. These are totally flat. That's incredible when you look at this because it looks like you just took some tumbled pieces of tumbled marble and then just painted designs on things. it. Right. And you can do that. Anybody can do this. Absolutely. All right. Well, <laughs> let, let's see how this works out. Where do we start? Okay. Let's say that you have um, a backsplash in your kitchen and you don't have any tile. You just have a, a, a white wall, okay? So that's what, that's what this is an example of. Okay. The next step would be to put a base color, which would be your grout. So I've taken an example here. I've just slopped on some paint. I just rolled on, and you can see I didn't even do a good job because it doesn't can matter. And you do any color that you want, Any color, too. right. This is the color that I wanted my grout to be. Okay. And then what I did was I put tape, and would you show the tape over there? Yeah. Okay. It's just real skinny tape. This is like a quarter of an inch. And I used it to, to create grout lines. Just put the tape on there. Right. You can make any size that you want, any shape that you want. And should we measure them to make them somewhat equal rather if than you, just freeze out? If you want them to look equal, you have to measure, yes. <laughs> and some people like the random look, so you, yeah. don't, you know, you, you can do anything you want. So you just put the tape on, and it's, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's removable tape. It's right. just, you know, just put it on there. And then you take your tile color. So let's say if we um, had some little paints like these here. And we just kind of uh, blended uh, a couple different creamy colors together gotcha. uh, in a little palette, so with you a little just brush. Pick what what color you're going to want to end up with. Exactly. Is it smart to do a neutral tone on the bottom as the grout then? Yes, if that's what you want. It just depends. If you want a big big right. big tiles, then right. you'll I mean, want think grout. think about what your grout would normally be. It's right. usually kind of a grayish or a creamish or something or a like white, that. Something right. along those lines. Right. So then you just smash in the colors to make it look like you know, and do one at a time. If you do the whole thing, then you're going to have the exact same color everywhere. True. So you don't even have to really try that hard just kind of smash them around and, and should you do darker colors first or lighter colors first does it matter which order i'd like to put dark underneath and then light on top because gotcha. then you see a little of the dark showing through okay and um here is an example then of the next step where we're we're now pulling we've pulled the tape okay so and then that exposed that's this grout color here gotcha okay and then the next step would be if you would assistant if you would hand me the smaller brush the smaller brush okay you. and you basically then if you want you have a very soft shadow line painted on the bottom and on one side and you only do it on one side or do you do it on all sides of the so-called tile the, the way that this works is that you you basically do an l so you do one side and then an adjoining bottom and it really gives it a lot of depth if you if you can see that it really does look like these are you know, raised tiles and that the grout is deep and deep. It does, deep. And, and this is, you know, what it looks like without the shadowing or the highlighting. So you can see the example of this row of tiles versus this row. These really look raised. And so you do one more L, you do a, a, a highlight on one side and a, highlight, a highlight on the top and highlight on the side. And that's the same, the same thing. So you have an and L and an L. And suddenly you have painted tile that yeah. looks like real tile. Yeah. Jeff Monsignor, our decorative artist, thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs> what a cool idea. You're right, it wasn't that difficult at all. <laughs> all right, hey, if you want more information on how to do this yourself, well, you can connect with Jeff. Just uh, go to daytimeonline.tv, click on Jeff's face at the bottom of our page, and you can get in touch with him that way. Stay with Daytime while we'll you're right back.